Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here with Robert Faringo. We are DocSports.com and we're tackling week two in the NFL. Lines have been posted for a few weeks now, so we thought let's have at it. And we're going to talk about a game between the Colts and the Vikings in just a moment. Uh, first, quick note, if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run and use a free 60 bucks to put against our daily packages, any of us over at DocSports, all you got to do to get started is click on that link below the video. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Now the Colts, Robert, they're a three-point home favorite over the Vikings. Totals 46 and a half, and about 55% of the tickets thus far are taking the points with Minnesota. The scheduling spot certainly favors Indy. Uh, they're going to be off Jacksonville with a home game against the Jets up next. Well, the Vikings, Robert, they're going to be off the home game against Green Bay. So that week one game for the Vikings is going to have a lot to do with everybody's handicap on this particular contest. Yeah, I'm bullish on the Colts this year. Not not necessarily in the spot. I like both of these teams. Mike Zimmer has been an against-the-spread machine in his career, particularly in the underdog role, so I'm not in a hurry to bet against him. I love the Colts this year. Okay, here's here's my hot take for you, all right? Are you ready? Brace yourself. Indianapolis is going to be in the mix. Yes, <laughs> Indianapolis is going to be in the mix for the number one seed in the AFC this year. Okay, I think that they will end up with either the first – or second or third best record in the AFC. I think they are one of the best teams in the AFC. I'm really excited to see Phillip Rivers in this offense. I'm really excited to see Phillip Rivers with a head coach like Frank Reich and with playing within a competent organization. He's not going to have to carry this team. They have a fantastic offensive line, a strong running game, a solid defense. So now Rivers, who has been a big bounce back guy, okay? He was pretty terrible last year. He is a big part of the reason why the Chargers struggled last year because of his turnovers. But if you look back through Phillip Rivers' career, when he's had bad seasons like that, 20 plus interceptions or 20 plus turnovers, he always bounces back the next year. You know he's gonna be motivated. You know he's gonna be refreshed in a new situation. So I think he's gonna put on a show in his first home game here in week two. Hey, listen, he's got the best record of any quarterback in NFL history with 12 or more kids, right? I mean, that's <laughs> just been a factory of producing kids. Listen, I, I like Indy's offseason moves. I really do. Last couple of years, you know, you got DeForest Buckner now, huge addition. That 2018 draft, 2018, was excellent. And now they've matured at the NFL level. And with Rivers at quarterback, I like him over the wins total, too. We're on the same page here. Uh, they play six teams, by the way with wins totals of less than eight. I like Eddie here, and I also like him in this particular game. One real note about Mike Zimmer, he does have that sizzling, hot spread record in his time at Minnesota, but I was looking at it, and it's kind of caught up to him because just they've covered just two of their last eight as an underdog, and most of the time when they're an underdog, it's been right around three points, give or take a half point or so. Uh, so they're games that are expected to be close, and they failed in six of those eight games. So I'm with you here. I like the Colts. I like them laying a field goal. Um, I really thought this was going to be three and a half at a few books by now, but it's not. So I think you can take advantage. Uh, Robert, that's my final thoughts on this one. I like the Colts both season and in this particular game. Yeah, another interesting thing about Minnesota is they lost their offensive coordinator, right? Okay, they got new yeah. Stefanski is in Cleveland. So they're going to have a new system on that side of the ball. So I'm also going to be looking at the under in this game. I think the Indianapolis Colts defense is a little underrated. We know they like to, to run the ball. And we know Minnesota's defense is, is still among the top half in, in football. So I don't expect that number to stay, that total to stay as high as it is. Right now I can see that coming down. So I'm with you. Like the Colts, like the under a little bit more. All right, man, folks, if you like the uh, videos and you like the information, all these week two videos, week one videos, be sure to check them all out over at DocSports.com. They'll be posted and up all summer long. And don't forget, you can jump on board with a free $60 account. If you're not yet a member over at DocSports.com, all you got to do is click on that link below the video to get started. For Robert Faringo, I'm Scott Spritzer. We are DocSports.com.